different states. So Bob's on location in Asbury, New Jersey. So PJ is man of the machines here <laughs> at work, and he's following this still very dangerous storm, which has taken a number of different forms depending on where you're watching from. Exactly. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Robin. You know, one of those storms that certainly is a different story for, uh, as Robin said, where depending on where you're watching from right now, because we've seen the heavy snowfall, we've seen blizzard conditions, severe flooding, the storm surge, and still not done with on all those variables. You take a look at the map right now, it's a massive storm system parked across portions of southern Pennsylvania and it's slowly going to meander over western Pennsylvania over the next 12 hours. By later on tonight into tomorrow, the rains will gradually taper off. The winds though going to stick around for at least another 24 hours across much of the northeast and the mid-Atlantic states, but very cold temperatures in place too. So you put the maps in motion, the radar imagery and slice it in half, a lot of it now becoming white and pink. That's all snowfall. Much of it in the higher elevations on the eastern side of it, showers mixing in with a few flurries around portions of New York, around portions of Washington onto Baltimore, I should say, at this hour. And again, the temperature is very close to the freezing mark. You factor in winds up to 60 miles per hour. It's going to feel downright chilly out there. And the perspective, again, awe-inspiring when you look at it here from the radar imagery. But take a look at what it looked like from space. One of those uh, videos you've got to see, and if you haven't seen it, is it's impressive as they come. We're talking about a storm 24 hours ago that was measuring 1,500 miles across. We've talked about this. That is nearly uh, roughly the size of two states of Texas put together or take Sandy, take Superstorm Sandy even right now and make it into a country, it'll be the 20th largest country in the world. So that is the feature that has impacted portions of the Northeast, the Midwest, the Southeast, and the travel implications going across the globe, uh, Robin. So this is definitely one of the memorable storms that we'll see in quite some time. Isn't it, though, the way it's combined and become a wintry one, too? Yeah. Connecticut has lifted its highway travel ban.